thought I'd show you guys what I got. I got some Christmas stuff, stuff to resell and stuff to keep for myself. And I really think that during the holiday season, it's really smart to go to go to thrift stores to look for like Christmas decor or maybe even Christmas gifts. There's a ton, a ton of stuff out there. And if you're trying to decorate your house on a budget or maybe do some gift giving on a budget, like it's really awesome to maybe find something really special and sentimental, even if it's used and give that to someone or really use that to decorate your house. When I first got married, that's kind of what I was doing. I would just go around to thrift stores during Christmas and I found so much stuff. I found wreaths, I found uh, garlands. There's lots of cool things you can find special little ornaments so I really recommend that but let me show you guys what I got at the thrift store yesterday okay also I do apologize if the lighting is a little off it's uh, kind of gloomy outside so it's hard to get that good light but I'm gonna show you guys what I got and I'm really excited a lot of cute stuff okay so up first I got this new inbox lotion and soap dispenser it was so everything was 50% off at the store so um, this was about a dollar which I thought would be perfect for my bathroom I don't really have any Christmas stuff to put in my bathroom but I thought that would be like a cute festive Santa it's brand new too so so stuff like that it's like you never know what you're gonna get I could have easily gone to Marshall's and Target or whatever and probably spent ten dollars on a soap dispenser so them back and it's like you can find stuff that's new in the box and you can actually like gift stuff like this to people so another new box item I got this candle wall warmer so I had one but it broke so I also got this for myself I'm gonna put in some wax melts and it's just like a plug-in so again this cost me two dollars and new in box then I got this Vera Bradley lunchbox. It's a really cute lunch bag. This I'm actually gonna sell on Poshmark. Vera ba Bradley does pretty well. I probably won't sell it for too much, maybe $20, $25, but it's really cute, insulated, and this probably cost me about $2. Then I got this top to resell on Poshmark as well. It's Maeve which is by a brand by Anthropology. It's the Silk Forest Green Polka Dot Blouse. Really pretty, um, and it has like a tie detail, a cinch tie. It's a cute cowl neck uh, top. I thought that was really pretty. Again, 50% off, and then all of their clothes are flat rate priced, so I think shirts normally are like $4.79, so 50% uh, off of that. This new in box, this is a photo display and it's really pretty. It's gold and then it's like a geometrical. So I thought that was really unique and cute. I might keep this for myself or maybe I might include it in like a white elephant gift or something like that. But same thing, new in box. The tag on here says $2.89, so 50% off of that. And I got this, again, it's new, brand new. This is a cute Christmas dog frame. How cute is that? If you guys don't know, I have two dogs and they are literally the sweetest things, but also not at the same exact time. But I'm really trying to get in the Christmas spirit and I thought this was really cute. Again, you could definitely gift this to somebody. Oops. And um, this was actually... Here's their original price. So it was from Kohl's for $14.99. It's never been used. It still has the original. And so um, I think this was probably like a dollar or two. So that's really cute. And um, I might gift this to somebody. I might actually give this to my sister. Or if I have a, if I take a Christmas picture of the dogs, I'll definitely put it in there. Next I found, this was actually, I was looking, sometimes I like to look in the, um, like gift card section. They have a bunch of, you know, holiday cards, birthday cards. I really like to buy thank you cards there. There's always like stocks of them. Like maybe you could buy like a 25 pack or whatever for a dollar, but it's nice to have. I'll use a thank you card. Anytime I sell something online, I'll write a quick thank you and send that to. And I think it's just a nice little touch, but I found these, I mean, they're definitely, it's like a worn box. 
I actually got this for my friend. If she sees it, these are for you. Um, but this is, this is a four pack of these beautiful, oh, four? No, it's one, two, three, four, five, six pack. Wow, that's a great deal. Of these beautiful coasters, she is definitely a bird lover. And so anytime I see bird things at the thrift store, I will try to pick them up for her. But look how beautiful this is. So these are like, they're different birds and it's little coasters. And I really think she's gonna love this. And at the very bottom, um, it says what kind of bird it is. And it's very good quality. It's a uh, cork on the back, but you know, really inexpensive. And then again, it's like just a nice little touch. Originally 239, so half off of that. You can't beat it. And these are really good quality. Like you can really tell um, they were made in 1974. 1974 wow that is very cool made in new zealand as well okay next i got this top for myself it's actually just old navy size medium but it's this very lightweight pop over striped blouse it's very cute. I'll try it on and see if it fits me. If it doesn't, I'll just resell it online. If I do sell it, it'll probably sell for $15. But again, that is totally fine by me. I got this Brooks Brothers men's button down um, top. It's really nice material. I love selling Brooks Brothers. It goes for a pretty good price. But I actually got this for Arthur. So again, if it fits him, he'll keep it. He could wear it to work. If not, I could just resell it on uh, Poshmark or eBay. I actually recently sold two of my Brooks Brothers work shirts. Um, I sold two of them for $59. So that kind of gives you an idea of how, how the brand sells. Then I got this super cute, how perfect for Christmas season. Again, Old Navy size medium, but look how cute this sweater is. I think it's so festive. I'm gonna try it on. If it fits me, I'm definitely going to kind of wear it maybe this season and just list it, or I might just list it now, depending on whether I like it or not, but really cute and, you know, found at the thrift store. Then I got this Lafayette 148. This is just like a really pretty, um, just like a cardigan with one button. It's very pretty detail. It's like a knit cardigan. Um, so yeah, I got that to resell online. Lafayette 148 is more of like an eBay brand. So I might list it on there. Next, I got this really cute scarf with these cute tassel details very pretty i think it'll be perfect for like the summer because it does have like the red white and blue detail on it look at that tassel detail it's really cute and it's also um new with tags from macy's and they wanted 38.50 for that so i'll definitely just resell this throw this on poshmark and maybe i could sell it for like 20 20 bucks I'll be okay with that. This is a really small thrift store too. They have like one rack of clothing for each section. So shirts, sweaters and stuff. Um, but I really like going there because it supports a good cause. And then I got, this is a Banana Republic gingham dress, gingham print, black and white. It definitely needs to be washed. So I'll definitely wash it just from, you know, being worn. But look, I think... This is so pretty. I love the strap detail. The, it's really cute. I think this one will sell pretty well during the summer. Um, if it's cute, I'll pick it up. If it's not, I won't. This Tommy Bahama size 16, 100% linen dress. Look at that. I love Tommy Bahama. I think people love it if they know like if that's like what they wear especially people who are retired or going on vacation or live in hawaii or live in like a great tropical place like this is a hundred percent linen it's fully buttoned down dress and it has like the beautiful flowers on it and i was gonna say i think it has pockets but they're sewn in so they've never been opened the pockets 
really cute. I'm gonna throw that up on Poshmark and on eBay. This probably cost me like $2. This is just like a little cute Santa Claus. Cute um, little addition to my collection. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet, but they wanted $1.79 for him. I got him for 50% off. Now for my sister, she loves collecting. She does the whole Christmas village. I might start doing it too. I've just never had any of the pieces. So I got these all for her. Um, really affordable, $2.79. So again, this is a great idea, especially during the holidays. If you know someone who kind of collects things like this, you never know what you're gonna find at the thrift. Then I also got her this cute fire station. Look at that. There's got people in there. And then same thing, it has the hole to put the light in. Very cute, I think she's gonna love this one. Then I got her this barn, this Christmas barn. And same thing, they have the windows, so if you put the light, this has a big hole too. But really cute, I think this is so perfect. And again, it's like a thoughtful gift, inexpensive, um, and you know, you also save some money. I got this, it's just like a little gift card holder. It wasn't much, <clears throat> I can't open it, but it's just a cute little gift card holder. I mean, there's people I'm gonna give gift cards to for during Christmas, so I could just use one of these. Got this bra to resell. It's Victoria's Secret, size 34 double D. Look how cute that is. Very pretty, just gonna wash it, resell it on Poshmark. Another uh, Victoria's Secret, oh, this is Vince Camuto. Oops, Vince Camuto um, 36C, really cute bra. Same thing, just gonna sell it online. Bras are really inexpensive at the store too, probably a dollar. This is another uh, Victoria's Secret Racerback Semi Demi for, it's a 34 double D. And this is the one that pops up in the front. So, sell that online. And then I got this guy for myself. This is just like a Calvin Klein, really cute. Sports bra. That's the front, just throw it in the wash. Has like an open back. Then I got this snakeskin pencil skirt. It's loft, size zero. It's really cute, I think for work or something. I'm gonna sell that on Poshmark. It's Halogen, which is a Nordstrom Rack brand for myself. If it fits, I'm gonna keep it, but it's this like knit printed. It's like has the, the faux slit here. Really cute. That might be cute for work with like some, some black tights. These are, um, I think, all donated from the same person. It's a Talbot's pencil skirt. It's like this pretty forest green with the flower lace. It's new with tags, originally $99. Wow. I wouldn't pay 100 bucks for the skirt, but I don't know. Someone did. Next is this, again, Talbot's 2P. It's Petite's, which might be a little harder to sell but it's this really pretty white lace again i think it's the same owner because they were literally right next to each other it's very pretty cream like it's like brand new i don't even think she ever wore it and then last but not least i got a third talbot skirt size two and it has this really pretty detail on it it's um like a shorter pencil skirt very cute they almost look like little penguins but i know they're not but again i might lots those together or if somebody likes one I'll share the other two to their bundle and give them a really good deal but that was my thrift haul um I probably spent about two hours in the store it was a lot of fun I got some cool stuff to gift to keep and to resell so I really recommend going to thrift stores if you've never gone before hey you never know what you're gonna find I found some pretty crazy stuff so um anyways thank you so much for watching my videos I'm having a lot of fun like I don't know posting YouTube videos and just like this is a fun hobby for me and just like it's helping me get out of my shell a little bit more which I don't need help with but um, just like share I don't know my thoughts with 
you people, but I'm really excited to continue on my keto journey. If you guys don't know, I am on the keto diet and I'm trying to vlog every single week just kind of to keep me accountable. And I think this holiday season um, will be tough, but I'm excited to see how it goes. So if you do like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and like, leave a comment down below what your favorite thrift find ever was. I think that's so fun to hear what other people find. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. The storms we chase are leading us in love.